Hello everybody, welcome to Excel video 292. I'm Nate Moore. So working on a project today calculating CRNA concurrency for a group. They're using it for um, auditing purposes to make sure that when the anesthesiologist recorded it that, that what the anesthesiologist recorded is what really happened. If you'd like help calculating concurrency for your group, I'd love to help you. What we're going to do today is follow up on last time's discussion of the search box filter. Remember last time we can find Abbott we can find Johnston, but the trick today is you can find Abbott or Johnston. You can find either one, and here's how. Let's clear the filter to make sure we're clean to be start with, to start with, and then let's do it. From that drop-down menu, let's start with Abbott. So A B B O T T. There's all the Abbotts. We'll click OK. Then what we're going to do is we're going to click this search filter again. And we're going to do J-O-H-N-S-T. There's the Johnstons. Now, watch. Here's the trick. If I click OK, it's going to dump all the Abbots and give me all the Johnstons. See this little box here that says Add Current Selection to the Filter. If I click that, then what Excel will do is say, hey, I'm going to keep the current filter that I have. I'm going to keep Abbots, and I'm going to add to that the Johnstons. So if I click OK here, we'll give it a second to think. There's the Abbots, and there's the Johnstons. I could continue on and do that all day long. I could get uh, the Smiths. I could get, as we scroll down through, there's the Cruz, there's Franklin, there's French, Grant. We, you could go down through and pick as many of them as you want and just add current selection to filter and make it go. When you're done with that and you want to start a new one, you can just do F-R-E-N-C, there's the French's. And instead of clicking Add Current Selection the Filter, if I just click OK, now the Abbots are going to go away, the Johnstons are going to go away, and all I've got left is the French's. It's a great way to do OR filters. OR filters are a hard thing to do in pivot tables. The search box gives you a way to do it. It's a clever trick, and I hope it's helpful for you. Thanks for watching.